Good morning, guys. Look at how cute you are. Today is Farrier Day. First on the docket is Little Honey. How'd you get a little cut on your head? It is actually crazy to me how much of a bond you get just from raising a baby. Like, I can't believe how loving and bonded this little mini is with Sophie. So, uh, Little Honey goes first, and then who goes? Willow. And then. Smallest to biggest. One thing about Palominos though, they are so photogenic. And she's shedding, she's getting her winter hair. This is my favorite part of the day. Favorite part of the month is when the, the farrier comes. Look how cute she looks. It actually smells so good in this barn. It just smells like hay, fresh hay. Um, so the thing that's different about this farrier visit is two things actually. One, our farrier is away for the whole month. So she graciously um, arranged alternative farrier, people that she's worked with before and that she that have actually been here before with her. Um, so the, so we have somebody new today. And then, why are you guys eating gra hay? And why don't you guys have fly masks on? I don't know how this keeps happening. I guess because I'm with the goats. I wanna change it up. I think Sam and I should change it up. He should do the goats for a month. And I should do the horses. Anyways, I gotta get her fly mask because that's not fair. All you guys gotta get a fly mask. Anyways, um, the other thing that's, what's wrong? She's mad at me. She's actually mad at me. I need to do more with her because she's never been mad at me before. She's mad at me because I'm brushing her while she's eating. I've never seen her be mad at me before. Let me go get you a fly mask. I've never seen her be temperamental with me. They're all leaving now. They're like, run, she's coming back. The other change for this month is that we needed to get all of our horses on the same schedule so the farrier is only coming once. Uh, it's just easier for us. So all our horses had to wait a week. They are like a week overdue. And then Lady is a week early. So we kind of just tried to like get them as close together as possible. Sam said he forgot. He forgot, you guys. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Want to see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back Hi, babies. It's crazy to me that Blossom was so tiny last year. Like she seemed so tiny to us and she hasn't grown that much, but yet she's still so much bigger than all the rest of our goats. Okay, I don't think you guys are supposed to be in here eating this hay. They got the fans on, so it's nice and cool in here. So I found a mask. See how she hates it? And it's yeah, her? that kind of fits her. It's a, it's a bit big back here. But yeah, she's gonna throw a fit. She's she's like, just t let me go so I can take this off. Can't be an over and over. She much prefers bugs to fly masks. And that is a lot. And it's not all. There's a ton. Yeah. I'm, I'm I mean, it stinks. So honey was bad. <laughs> And everybody else was wonderful. I think it's because she was like standing there for too long. Yeah, we always bring her in first. I think she should go last. Sam says that all the horses take off those fly masks. You guys know these ones? He says that the material is too hot for them. I'm gonna take all of the fly masks and wash them. And we have a chicken that's still laying eggs in the barn. So lady, her shoes have been loose for like a week. And so we didn't want to ride her with her shoes loose because she was afraid it was gonna fall off and while she was riding and it was gonna like hurt her somehow. And 
So anyway, the farrier is here today. It costs five hundred dollars to take care of our horses' feet every six weeks, sometimes every five weeks, depending on what's happening. But yeah, five hundred bucks. I'm okay with that. I'm used to that. I know that that's how much it costs. Sam, on the other hand, was there, <laughs> and he was shocked. If you missed it, we planted a bunch of raspberries. So next year, that will be a big part of our garden. It's actually super hot out today, like a little bit humid. Not like so humid, but a little bit humid, but still looking gorgeous like a summer's day. Do you spot it? Can you spot it? Oh, she's gonna move. But a few minutes ago, there was the goats laying. The goats were all laying there in the shade, and the piggy was laying with them. Those Almost are her. her baby. Those are her herd. Yeah. <laughs> Lola thinks all the baby goats are her babies. Why is honey always That's her baby. We always keep this bucket of water over here. Wow, that's awful. I emptied this last night, late last night, and filled it up all fresh for today. The ducks put water, put mud in the bottom of the bucket. All the chickens who escaped the backyard, the behind the fence, they all like they all go to that bucket. The dogs go to that bucket. Everybody goes to that bucket. Welcome to the new duck house. They love it in here. This is where they hang out. I'm coming. They ha they were in here the whole time the horses were getting their feet done. They were like right behind me. So. Who's right behind you? The goats. See, I told uh -oh. you. Guys, head down. Come on. <laughs> Sophie says she can't see when she's coming in here with that fly mask on, so she won't come. See, fix the problem. Fix the problem. It's called knowing your horse. I told you. Put that, 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 that back. Better. Do you guys want to know the um, trouble? Good thing I brought two pigs. I mean, two apples because your pig loves apples. You fed my pig an apple? Yeah, a whole apple. She's on a diet. Did she forget to tell you? Did she say, no, Sophie, I'm on a diet? She did it very fast. I'm sure she did. She okay. can smell the apple in my pocket. I know, they all can. Like, she can smell your apple, too. So, you guys know I think Lady is, like, the perfect horse for us. I love everything about her. If there is a problem with her, there's, if there, if we even hinted at there being a problem with her, it would be this. Oh, so she is loving life doing her best at everything she does. But the only thing that is kind of tricky about her is that when we go on a trail. Apparently she's a trail horse, but what does she do on a trail? She just wants to go. Like She wants to gallop the trails. And now that Sophie's in love with trails, she wants to like actually see a trail, not just fly by them like Lady likes to do. So Sophie's like gotten into the habit of like, Sophie's gotten into the habit of saying, okay, I'm just gonna gallop her for a minute and let her get it out of her system and then we'll walk. Well, it works. It works. And Sophie's happy doing that and she's comfortable doing that and Lady's happy doing that. But the trainer says, don't let her do that. <laughs> Yeah, those darn trainers, they just always be bringing bad news. So anyway, Sophie's gonna try it maybe today. Are you gonna do it today? Yeah. So she's gonna, she's gonna try today and get her to just walk on a trail. Small, short trail, doesn't matter if there's a hundred horses with her. She's like, what, a trail? I'm getting excited, Laura. <laughs> she's as calm as she can be in the arena. But yeah. when she goes on the trail, she's like, Wee. Yeah, it's like, it doesn't matter. We bring, it doesn't matter how many horses we bring. She just wants to go. And maybe that's what she's used to. Like, who knows? But anyway, the trailer has tasked, the trainer has tasked Sophie with the job of making her walk. Usually we don't ride our horses like the day that they get their feet done. And Sophie actually has a lesson tomorrow. Uh, but she's just going to walk. So her ride is just going to be a walk on the trails. 
That's what we're hoping for. The ducks have made a little nest there. Isn't it adorable? Oh, it's so cool in the shade. So you can see the green on them. You such a cute fuzzy head. I swear they're saying, you get away. Yes, I know. There, you guys can kind of see now. Yeah. See, he's got the green on his head. So cute, like a mallard. And then she has all these little spots everywhere, which is one of Sylvie's favorite things. Oh, that was fancy. They can fly too. They fly across the whole yard. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be the slow walk, ladybug. All right. We are ready. Yeah, the hay grows fast. Anyway, she's just... It does look... No! She said it looks like a racetrack. She really wants to gallop. Just slow. Like, looks like they're wandering off into the sunset. Okay, into the sunrise. It's gorgeous. So the thing here is that Sophie has to make her walk. She just has to take her out and make her walk. Oh, did you guys see that some work got done on the fields? I forgot to update you guys about that. So all the trees, this used to be like three different fields. One, two, three. And now all the feet, all the trees and the middle got taken out. Sam loves it. It's just so much prettier, so much nicer. Like this field is raised up. It's higher than the others. Just a gradual slope down. Doesn't that look so much better? There used to be a tree line here. And then down there where there's brown, used to be a tree line there too. So anyway, this is it. They're just gonna walk around. I don't know if you guys can see, but she's, she's actually like throwing little fits. She just keeps putting her head up and trying to go. There they go. She like keeps trying to go back too. So she's probably a little herd bound now. She's, she's gonna walk in a circle until she gets calm. All right, Sophie's over there. And then through there is the trail. All along that tree line is the trail down to the bottom. And then over on the other side of the trees are the other fields that are the hills that Sophie was galloping on. So the field goes from over here from over that tree line and it goes all the way back to the road including all those woods and then there's like one two three maybe four big fields over there and one of them goes way far back to the road and you can see better and then it goes all the way up to the it's it's huge like some some 50 acres doesn't look big some 50 acres looks huge this one looks huge i'm just gonna sit here in the middle of the sun and roast well, she does what she has to do. I've always said this before. It's like when you have little kids and you take them to the park and you just have to sit there. They don't really need you because they're like bigger, like seven and eight and stuff. And they don't need you to like make sure that they're safe on the equipment. But you got to sit there and you got to watch them. It's the same thing now, even at 15. You got to be there and you got to watch them. And not just for safety. She's calm now? She calm now? She's a little calmer. You gotta be there because teenagers don't always want you there. So any opportunity when they do want you there, especially like with horses and stuff, is such a bonus. You gotta be there when they want you there. Just little circles. All right, so she's going home now. She's trying to trot the whole time. She takes like two steps of walk and then she tries to like go into the trot. But they're not galloping, so that's a positive. She's throwing her head a bunch, throwing a fit though. She wants to like either go back to her horses or she wants to canter. She's totally confused. She doesn't understand what Sophie's doing with her, but this is what they need to do every single day. See, she's just throwing her head up and down. Up. They're just standing there. She's throwing her head up and down, up and down. And it's because she <laughs> wants to go. But, I mean, that's the worst she does. Sophie says that she puts her head down to pull the reins out of her hand. And then she tries to run off, run away. I love that she wants to do this.
What happens when you just give her the reins? Yeah, give her the reins. <laughs> Whoa, slow down! All right, so Sophie's right. She doesn't want to slow down. I had to stand up. All right, I think you should just get her to walk calm for like two seconds and then get off. And like do this in intervals because she's just getting more agitated. I know, I just wanted to see. Maybe we should start like by bringing her out and just making her stand still. I see this if she does anything stupid. Walk calmly. Good girl. Calm down yourself and then just keep saying she doesn't like that she's my life. She doesn't like that she you pull on the reins though. That could be getting her going. Even though I know you I know you have to half halt to slow her down. Jumping up. No, you're standing. Her inclination is to go up when she gets stressed. See, she's throwing a fit. Sophie definitely has her work cut out for her. She's going home, so she's calmer, but I think maybe next time we do this, I'll bring another horse with us and see if that helps her because I wouldn't say that was successful. So she just has to like make sure she doesn't run because she really wants to go home. She really likes running. Yeah, she's throwing a fit. See, she throws a fit. I remember I had to do that with Penny. Penny was like, even when I tried Penny, she was a zoom in horse. When we went on a little trail ride, she was a zooming. When I bought her, I thought she was exactly the same. Exactly. And it took a long time, but I didn't do it every day. But it took a long time. Like it took till like last year. So like two years it took me to get her to calm down. And now she doesn't want to speed up. She was not a good girl, but she wasn't. Get treats, not carrots though. You get normal treats. We'll give her carrots. They're healthier. <laughs> Sophie says she was good. She's always good in like the in lessons in the arena. Feel free to comment any ideas that you guys have. I love having access to all of your guys' ideas and experience to get because it gives us so many options, so many more than like just two trainers would give us. But feel free to give us some exercises or some things to do to try to get her to slow down. I told Sophie to give her the reins just to see what would happen. And because every time Sophie slows her down, she throws her head up. She puts her head down, tries to take the reins out of Sophie's hand so that she can speed up on her own. Penny did the exact same thing. And it's funny too, like a lady um, had like her back end wasn't as strong as it is now when we first got her. So she was like a bit weak going into the canter. And it took a while for Sophie to build up those muscles and she's a lot stronger now going into the canter. And she's built up those muscles. Never really cantered before. And with like a rider on her. And now it's like her go-to thing. Like she's like, yeah, let's go. Sophie says that before she had to leg, add leg to canter. And now she's like, come on, we're going. She, as soon as she canters, as soon as she gets it out of her system, she'll walk the whole rest of the trail. She just has to canter first. If she canters, more than three steps. Yeah, if she canters more than three steps, like she has to do a good little canter, which Sophie likes and she's safe and she's easy to canter. So that's one of the reasons that Sophie really feels confident on her because even though she has that that behavior where she wants to can, even though she does that where she wants to canter, she needs to canter and burn off energy before she gets going. Sophie could lunge her. You could lunge her. Maybe that's what we'll do. Deal with the spice. No, she doesn't give you spice on the lunge line. Deal with the spice. Oh, why? You're good at lunging. Because it's fun. <laughs> I know, you're like me. So she likes to go up. So she like threatens to go up. She, and when she does go up, she goes up like a tiny half a step. Well, like she goes she up just and she kicks out. Yeah, like she barely bit. goes up. But when Penny, when I was trying to get her to slow down, she would always kick out at the back. So, and she wouldn't do like a real buck. She would just do a tiny little kick out or she would like throw her head down just like a tiny bit. Both of them so simple mares, like they're saying that they don't, you know, they both are protesting, but they're not protesting so strong. Like other horses could, you know, hurt Where you. Where did we go to get this? That big bag of carrots? Yeah. I don't know. 
All I know is that I am really hot. I am sweating. The sun is hot. Sophie's gonna bath her and then put her fly mask on because she really needs that. All the horses need that today. When it's this Wait, hot, flies are bad. She's happy now. Well, yeah, now that she's gotten treats for being bad. Well, she's happy she's home. She's like, yeah, I'm home where I wanna be. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. It breaks in my heart It's weighing me down, baby I'm like a river that's overflowed The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt Let me speak the truth I know you don't want to face it You think it's too late But I can see past the rain Won't you let Turn the page and burn it Let's make up a big bonfire On the beach with the stars as our lighters And throw our problems in the flame Throw our problems in the flame Barely gets wet and has to roll. Look, she scratches her belly. Is that the weirdest thing? She scratches her belly. She figured it out, now she's obsessed. Is that what she's doing? <laughs> yeah. Her legs under her belly and she's using it. That's it? Yeah. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 